All right, apparently T.I. is still chasing 50 Cent. Nobody really cares at this point. 50 has always got that Eminem stand fan base where he could deflect, you know, smoke. And people will say, oh, you know, um, oh, 50 don't have to do that. Just like Rick Ross whooped his ass. You know what I'm saying? And people don't acknowledge that motherfuckers from New York had to go to South Florida to get somebody to handle uh, 50 Cent. But T.I. said he has more classics than 50, and I agree. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. But you're not going to get a consensus. This is not logical talk. There's no more logical talk when talking about comparing fan bases or comparing, I mean, excuse me, comparing players or comparing musicians. There is no logical talk no more. It's fanboys and fangirls, right? Look at the web song. That song ain't all that, but it's number one based off hype and fanboyism. Nobody is really, nobody is really, you know, going to keep it one honey. You know what I'm saying? And I agree. You know, 50 had one classic album. That was Give It Your Die Trying to Massacre. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? If you want to say that was a classic, cool. I liked it. You know, Position of Power, Rider Music. You know, I really wasn't in a disco inferno and that was a cool song, but you know, it would be good just a little bit. Like he went diamond off that album, I think, or almost diamond based off the hype of the first album, but it disappointed because he, I mean, he, he couldn't, 50 couldn't recreate that first album. That first album from the beginning to end is is unskippable. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the G-Unit album, you know, a big from what, Beg for Mercy, that was a good album, but it wasn't a classic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Power of a Dollar was a really good underground album, but so did Tip have a really good, like, his was a studio album. I'm serious, it was his first one. I had that. It was a really good album. It wasn't a classic. Um, Get Rich and Dawson and Tron track was good, but his stands would basically say, oh, you know, he got blackballed or whiteballed by Jimmy Alvin when, when the other ones came out. You know, it was cool, you know. I don't want I get money. It, but they wasn't no classic album. 50, had, 50 was able to live off their first album similar to Snoop. Snoop lived off a uh, doggy style for a long time. And then The Last Meal was cool. RNG, The Blue Carpet Treatment. Um, some of those albums were cool. But 50 and Snoop just alike. 50 lived off of Get Rich or Die Trying. Snoop lived off a of doggy style for, for a very long time. And that's just the way it, it was. You know what I'm saying? So, in my opinion, I listen to both. But then again, you know, you got people that, that didn't listen to really tip or didn't listen, listen to his albums. They listened to his singles. So, and they try to have an opinion to say, oh, no, 50, no, 50 had one classic, two at the most. Yo, oh, what he did in the mixtape game, nigga, we not talking about mixtapes. <laughs> That's a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? People kill me, they try to rationalize it. <laughs> what he did in the mixtape game with a power of a dollar was, like, get out of here. He's talking studio albums. Urban music, trap music, deniable, un it was classic. Paper Trail, deny That's three right there. That's three. It was three really good albums, bro. And, um, you know, people say, oh, no, they wasn't. Like, I'm not listening to nobody's opinion. I had them. I listened to them. And then, you know, T.I. versus T.I.P., no. Um, he said he had five, but to be conservative, three. Um, I'm trying to think what else he had. Uh, King was pretty good, you know, but he he, he didn't miss. After pa From Paper Trail to I'm Serious, he didn't miss. There was not one bad album. That's consistency. Oh, he didn't have lyrics or he didn't have substance and and and, 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 and people try to poke hole. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to listen to what people say. Go back, listen to those albums, man. Every album was quality he put out. You know what I'm saying? It was quality albums. You know, from I'm Serious to Urban Legend, to tra well, Trap Music, Urban Legend, uh, T.I. vs. T.I.P., King, Paper Trail, he had three, in my opinion, and you can make a case. King was really good. I think that was the official soundtrack for ATL, and I might be missing something in there, man. But I think those was those was his main ones, and most of your average rappers don't have a run like that. Look at 50. He had a two-album run. After that, man, fuckers want to listen to that. And I love Get Richard Dodd trying the soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? But after that, people went like, like he got white ball by Alvin, whatever it was. But, you know. But but I agree with T.I. In fact, Joe sitting there, he got this New York biasness. New York, they have this entitlement like they are the best. And they still feel they're entitled even though they're getting their ass whooped by the South. I mean, the West Coast is beating the East Coast right now. The East Coast don't even, if it wasn't for Ferg and if it wasn't for Griselda, you know, they wouldn't even have a, they wouldn't even like, they sound sound like the South. Ace Boogie, 
Little TJ. You know, nobody sound like New York no more. Every, the most influential sound is the South. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they still feel this entitlement like they was just the best and, 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 and oh, you, 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 South, you Southern feathers and Midwest and, and East Coast or and the West Coast feathers. We are the best. No, like that's a fact. 50 had, you know, the first two was pretty good after that. You might listen to AO and all that other bullshit he was dropping like that. You know what I'm saying? And in his battles, like I said, it'd be close. And people say, well, you know, 50 in the mixtape game, you know, he play niggas don't know that shit. Did you have worse the versus battle? When people break records, it don't go well. <laughs> and that would be breaking the record to the world. You know, but like I said before, people just gonna have a biasness and people gonna say, this, that, and 50 first album, that's better than anything T.I. did. Get what you're not trying is better than the majority of any work people did. That was one of the best studio debuts there there is it's, it's somewhere i wouldn't probably say f top five because would you put it above illmatic doggy style ready to die like you got some really good like debut albums you know what i'm saying even though rap deucer dr dre and guys like that you know dre had a really good one so you have some really good debut albums that came out but it's amongst probably definitely in the top anywhere from one you know anywhere from five to ten you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I think T.I. speaking facts. I think he really believed what he believed. I believe. I mean, I think he had three classic albums. A lot of people don't want to give him his credit. You know, they don't want to get a South Day credit. I don't have a problem. I'm not from the South. I get a credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, T.I. had a great run. And people, you know, diss me. Oh, he Jeezy, not lyrical. And all he talk about is this and that. It's a lot of dudes in New York who, who was pumping shit that didn't have no real substance to it. You know what I'm saying? You always had the Mob Deeps who had substance and some of the older rappers who had substance, but there's a lot of motherfuckers who, who was rapping about the same shit over and over again. But if you look at this album run, he had a really good album run from, what, 05 to shit, now for a while. You know what I'm saying? You know, in the end, he, 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 he displayed, you know, um, great mixtape work. So, you know, but then again, people had their favorites and people try to tell me what rap is and don't even know the elements of rap, don't even know where rap began, don't know nothing about rap. And they try to give an opinion, all right? I don't listen to nobody's opinion, especially if they don't know what they're talking about. If you can't tell me, if you can't tell me about the KRS ones and the Marley Mars and you know some them them type of dudes run DMC and all oh, these track them out, we we can't even have a conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? We can't talk about LL, Scarface, Ice Cube. You we not even having a conversation. You live in the area you live in. I'm a continue to be a hip hop historian and keep adding to my thing. But T.I. speaking facts, but once again, it just lead to believe nobody puts the pressure on the guy who ducking, you know what I'm saying? And 50 cents still don't want to smoke. And that's all it boiled down to, you know what I'm saying? People talk about oh, Dr. Dre don't want to do it. Or these dudes don't want to do it. At the end of the day, he, he ain't Dr. Dre legendary. You know what I'm saying? Dre, you know, just talking about producer wise, but even Dre can play some music, even though he didn't write his shit, but Dre, uh, I'm trying to think of Nas, Jay, those type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, you know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? That's like Michael Jackson and Prince. They don't have to battle. You know what I'm saying? 50 ain't reached that, that level musically, bro. You know, he didn't have enough longevity musically. If Luda can do it, 50 can do it. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We know what he is. He ain't going to do it. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. Also got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal, description. And this was an interview he did with Fat Joe. And Fat Joe got picked up by Revolt TV. So shout out to Puffin for picking up Fat Joe interviews. Y'all know what it is. We gone.